Hi there, my name is Evgeny Birkov. I'm a composer and sound designer based in Cologne, Germany. At the moment I'm working on a generative audio project where I will uh, create some generative drone music in a game engine. And for this task I was doing some research how to program drone sounds and I came up with some results and I would like to share it with you guys. Basically I decided to program the sounds myself and for this task I used search XT here it is it's a free excellent synthesizer it's a community driven project and uh, that was the synth I was using for this task and uh, as in many tutorials let me show you uh, the patch which we will uh, uh, at the end uh, come up with Now let me explain the basic architecture of Search XT. In Search XT you have two scenes. Each scene has its own uh, oscillator, um, filter and modulator section. And uh, you can combine these two scenes, so you can play it simultaneously or you can split it across the keyboard. But in our particular case we will use only single scene so we need to select a single mode for, for the mo uh, scene mode and uh, now below the scene selection buttons we have an oscillator section with three oscillators and here we have uh, oscillators controls with these controls you can shape the wave shape of the waveform and along with these controls you have a vast scope of uh, wave shapes you can come up with. Uh, now here we have uh, play mode, the polyphonic monof uh, monophonic mode with portamento and stuff like that. Uh, below that we have uh, volume faders. Uh, one to three, these volume faders represent the three oscillators now here we have a ring modulation faders which you can uh, add if, if you are applying some ring modulation uh, to the oscillators and here we have a fader for the noise generator. Uh, we don't need oscillator routing or filter configuration in this tutorial we will uh, let it as it is uh, the same with the scene output here we have a filter section, we will need one of these. On the right side we have an um, envelope for the amplifier and uh, at the bottom section of the synth we have a modulation ma matrix with uh, LFOs and uh, with envelopes and so on. But again, in this tutorial we would not need any of that. So let me initialize the patch, here we go. Now uh, as you listened to the drone sound before you noticed that it's airy, there is a lot of noise in it. And um, Search XT has a noise generator on board. The noise generator is kind of hidden because I would uh, expect it to appear in the oscillator section which is here. The only parameter where you can control the noise is here, the noise color and the noise color is hardwired to the fader which is called N, which is labeled N and this is just the volume fader of the noise generator. The sound is 
atonal. I cannot play it um, on my keyboard. And this is my first aim. I would like to play the noise via keyboard. For this, I will insert a low pass filter and I will uh, control the cutoff frequency with my keyboard. Uh, in order to do that, I will put up the key track fader all the way up. And with this, I can change the position of my cutoff. You don't see it here, but it does happen. As you can hear, the cutoff changes with the pitch I'm pressing on my keyboard. You, can, you don't see the keyboard, but believe me, it's there and I'm pressing the different notes. The, uh, the more higher it gets, the more the filter opens. Now when I um, crank up the resonance all the way up, I emphasize the cutoff frequency with the following result. So the signal uh, gets more and more tonal. Now uh, what I want to do, I want to check if the cutoff frequency coincides with the pitch of my oscillator. For that I will open the oscillator, I will unmute the volume fader for the oscillator. Uh, it's, it doesn't match exactly. Now that's pretty close. Now I will change the noise color so the signal is not that noisy. When uh, playing with the parameters, you uh, you have to to check it out. You have to uh, move your cutoff back and forth. You have to adjust the noise color uh, to your likings. Now what I will additionally do, I will um, enrich my signal with additional harmonics. For that I will use the wave shaper module uh, and here I will uh, choose the Additive saw three section. And now I will pull up the volume fader. So that's the sound I would like to have. And uh, in order to again to emphasize the tonal. Uh, part of the sound. I will unmute the oscillator and uh, play it with my noise. And uh, the only thing I will use in this example is the submix. With the submix you just add additional octave below the original pitch. Let's solo the oscillator and listen how the submix sounds. Okay, let's listen to uh, oscillator one and the noise generator together. What about uh, uh, shifting the octave, which you can make here? Okay, let's settle with this sound. As you may notice, it doesn't sound anyway near the drone sound I was playing in the beginning. And if you are into drone sounds or into programming drone sounds, you will know that uh, there is a special source which we will need in order to make this sound drone-like. And this special source is the reverb effect which is which we put on top of the sound with the 
wet percentage all the way up to 100% and without the dry part of the sound. And uh, in Search XT, we have effect slots where we'll insert our reverb effect. Uh, in order to do so, you just hover over the effect slot, which is over here. And then uh, when it turns yellow, below you can choose your uh, effect you, you want to use. When playing with Search XT, I remembered that uh, Search XT has also the multi effects by Air Windows. Air Windows is a small uh, plugin developer whose plugins are also donation based or free of charge. And um, the effects are implemented in Search XT. And uh, I encourage you to try out Air Windows plugins. Uh, their reverbs are excellent. And for our particular task, we just take uh, from the ambience drop down menu the galactic reverb okay let's uh, let's listen to it okay not bad Let us play with the parameter parameters a little bit. Okay, a little bit less of wave shaper. And I think now we have a pretty good result. And uh, as you may notice, you have to play with the parameters a little bit in order to achieve the result you want to have. Maybe you, you even come up with a new results, which are much more interesting as what you were intended to get. Now, uh, what I would like to have as well, I would like to add some noise to the signal after the filter. With adding this uh, noise effect on top of the sound, but before the reverb, I will I will get uh, more uh, more of the high frequencies, which are lost uh, when uh, using the cutoff filter. For this, I will take again a plugin by Air Windows, which is Dust Bunny. It has only one fader. Let's uh, bypass the effect. You will just get a little bit of noise to get the sound a little bit more airy than it was before. Let us crank up the amount a little bit. That's even too much for me. Now I think uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and maybe see you next time for the next tutorial. Bye bye.